I'm gonna teach you guys how to build an award-winning site that won site of the day in Webflow in under 10 minutes. Now, the site I'm talking about is landofride.com. And one of the things that is so cool about landofride.com is that this is essentially a travel site, right? But whenever you cover over one of these panels or one of these cards, it displays a video about the adventure that you're going to pursue, whether it's sailing in the Arctic or going to surf on a ranch or going to some place in India, it doesn't matter, right? The cool thing about this though, is that there's two different animations going on here. Number one is of course the video interaction, the, the video plays as soon as you hover over it. And there's also this very small parallax effect. Now I've created this in Webflow and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it in under 10 minutes, hopefully. So let's go ahead into my Webflow tab over here and I'll show you guys exactly what I have done. So here we have my Webflow tab and you can see that it's, it's similar. It's similar enough, right? For this tutorial, we can see that as you scroll down, there is a parallax effect that is a little bit more obvious than the, than the other one, just for the video purposes. And also when you hover over it, we have the video animation. Now, a little bit of a warning. If we wanted to build this for a real e-commerce site, then we would have to use CMS. This does not have CMS, but just keep that in mind. It's easy enough to do, but I did not do it for this video. So as we hover over all the videos, they all play, they're all, they're all working, which is great. So let's go ahead and show you guys exactly how to do the very first animation, which would be the video play. So let's go ahead into the element panel and I'll show you guys exactly how it is that we do the very first interaction. So if I click on the this first one here and I click on the element of the link that we can see exactly that there's two very important elements that we need to focus on. Number one is the link block and number two is the background video. So the link block and the background video are both called the same thing. They're both div dash holder with the video having a video added class just for scaling purposes, right? I want to be able to scale them the exact same way whenever I'm converting it to mobile, to desktop, to tablet, whatever it is. I want to be able to change this to be 60 REM to 40 to 30 to whatever, and they stay the exact same size. Now, another thing to keep in mind here is the positions. So for the actual link block, we have relative. And then for the video, we have just another relative with a Z index of two. Now this will make sure that the video is always on top of the image whenever we are displaying it, which is also very important. So in the link block here, we have the image in the background, just as a, just as a, a pixels download. It's a free image. You guys can find it online as well. And then the video itself is also just a very simple simple video upload just like this, right? So going into the actual interaction here, if I click on the div holder, the link block itself, then we can see exactly how we do it. So there's a hover in and hover out animation. And the, the basic secrets to this very simple animation is having an opacity layer connected to the actual video. So this is actually connected to the video class, as you can see down here, rather than the link element. So as a starting state, we want the link block with the background image to be on top, right? We want the video itself to be completely hidden. And then when we hover on top of the image, the video appears and starts it's playing. So we can see exactly how that's done. So we have the, the video itself here and with the initial state being 0% opacity. And then when you hover on top of it, it goes all the way up to 100% and it takes 0.25 seconds. Very important because if we have a very simple hide and show animation, then it'll be very instant, right? It'll be like a, like it's too instant, which we, we can't do. It needs to have a very smooth, very elegant animation as we have here in our super nice examples. So as we hover out, because we obviously wanted to hover out so we can check out other animations, we have the video itself to go all the way back down to 0%. So that's a very, very simple way of doing this. There's no code involved. There's no special special tricks going on. It's a, it's a very, very simple animation and you guys can do it at home as well. Next up though is the parallax scroll. Now this one, I also tried to make it as simple as possible with no code so that you guys can also do it at home. So to show you guys the secrets, I'm going to go into x-ray mode, which is done by shift command X. You guys can also do that. And we see that there's two different types of grids here. Number one, there's a grid scroll up. And then if we check the middle one, there's a grid fast scroll. Now this one just has an added margin of negative five REMs just to move it a little bit up as we have here in our example. So to go into the actual interaction, all we have to do is go into the actual grid itself, click onto grid, go into the interactions and we can pick between fast scroll and scroll up. So I'm going to click fast scroll. We can go into the settings here and see what we're actually dealing with. So this is a scroll interaction. So if you guys are new to Webflow and don't know how scroll interactions work, it's very simple. All you have to do is essentially tell Webflow where you want your animation to start and when you want it to end and what you want the your element to do in between those two points. Now I want it to start in the absolute beginning. When we get on the site, I want it to be ready to go, right? And another thing to note about these very simple animations is that you need to tell it where to to start and it's important to even give it zero pixels of, of a starting point just so that it knows exactly what to do in the beginning and then all the way down at 75 percent here i've given it a margin or a, a move order 
of around 400 pixels. And this will allow us to essentially move the elements 400 pixels further than if we had just scrolled past, right? So if you can imagine you scroll past, add another 400 pixels, that is where our element is going to be. So our live preview is on here so we can see exactly how this is working. But we can see that it's just moving 400 pixels down as we scroll down with it, which is exactly what we need. And we can see exactly the same thing here with the other grid. I'm gonna go ahead and to scroll up instead. And we can see the exact same thing, zero pixels on the bottom. And then I gave it a negative 250 pixel order to move all the way up because if you can tell here there's almost like a very slight moving up when, when we scroll down which is what we want so it's, it's also very simple we just create that and we can see how that's previewed there so as we scroll down the two side grids are moving up so we can go ahead and publish this and make sure that everything is working and everything is real and it's a actual working prototype. I'll leave a clonable down in the description so you guys can check it out and build it for yourself or, or see how it, how it works. And also, if you guys wanna clone it so that you guys can use it in your portfolio, in your e-commerce, in your blog, whatever it is, make sure that you clone it so that you then you know how to use it, right? You don't have to build it yourself. I already built it for you. And this is how we're gonna do it here. So we're gonna go into the actual publish tab and we can see how everything is working super, super nicely the video plays as soon as you scroll on top of the image. Now, if we wanted to add text on top of any of these div blocks, well, then it'd be very, very easy. All we have to do is go into the link block itself or give it a text block just like this. And this is where the relative component comes into play. So we need to make sure that the actual div holder is relative so that we can add text on top as an absolute. So we're going to make it a full element and we can give it a Z index of something like two. Let's give it a REM four, maybe Z index of three something like that and then height one dash and then we'll change the color to something like orange we'll say something along the lines of that now we can make this into a center line and we can call it surfing in the sea sounds very very good very fun and now if we preview this we can see that the surfing in the sea text okay maybe let's change it from yellow We'll just make it black for now. We can see that this text is on top of the image and also the video whenever we hover over it. So if I go ahead and hover over the video right here, we can see that we have surfing in the sea hovered on top of the video of the sea on top of nothing else. That's all we have here. And we can see that it's exactly the same as the other typical designs here. We have Surf Ranch. And if we wanted to, we could just add more text. We can make it a nicer font, a nicer height, all of that business and jazz, but we're not gonna do it for this video. All we have to do that is left is convert these links to go to somewhere else in the page. If we have a product page, a checkout page, anything like that. But for this video, all I have here is a link that if I click it, it takes me directly to my Twitter account. So if you guys aren't following my Twitter account, make sure you guys go ahead and do that because I post content just like this one on the YouTube channel. But if you guys want to get to know me a little bit more, then Twitter is the place to do it. So if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, then let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed more builds, then I'll do more builds. If you guys enjoyed more, this is how you do it kind of videos, then I'll do just that. But if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, again, let me know down below and I'll try to do more of them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.